something else I wanted to talk about is that they, that's the kind of plant that likes a lot of rich soil. And a cow manure does that. And also, things that most people won't think about is fish innards. When people go fishing a lot, you know, and they've got, you know, stuff like that. It really makes them grow like crazy. And I can tell you why I know that. Uh, my aunt, who I told you before, my aunt and uncle that lived out in the country on an old antebellum farm in a big old house. And uh, one year, I sent her some gigantic elephant ear bulbs uh, that I ordered on. I remember I ordered that and a bunch of dried flowers because she was good with making flower arrangements. <clears throat> and so I knew she could make something with these dried flowers that would last. And and she did do that. And as well as the the uh, elephant ear bulbs, I ordered, ordered her a pussy willow and a weeping willow. And she planted one on either side of the front of the house. And the pussy willow lived to adulthood. And that elephant ear, she planted around the back next to, there was a big huge cistern well that, that came up. And you had to go up a lot of stairs to get up to the actual porch where they drew water out of that well. They still did. <laughs> My aunt and uncle did. They did eventually get water into the house, but they still preferred the taste of that water for their drinking water. Once you get used to it. I don't know if every, everything just came off of the, the house. Because a cistern is, is something that catches the water. But I'm kind of thinking there was like a stream. Or, or, or maybe they had you know, gotten into a actual well. Because the water always tasted so fresh and clean. But right next to that well. My aunt planted that big elephant ear bulb. And they lived right next to a lake, so they fished a lot. So they had you know, fish scales and guts and, you know, tail and head and all that. She would dig a hole down next to the bulb and put all that in there and cover it up with dirt. Those elephant ear, those leaves were so big. They were the biggest things I'd ever seen. And somewhere... There's pictures of my aunt and uncle standing out in front of those. It made a, a beautiful backdrop. A lot of pe people had their pictures made in front of those elephant ears. But that house is no longer there, so all of that stuff's gone. But that let me know that since Jean's husband is an avid fisherman, He's, he's going on a, a fishing tournament right now. He could just take all that kind of stuff and dig right there and plant it next to these things and they would be gigantic. It's just my idea. Okay, now I will let you go since I finished my story time.